In 2014, in the context of political and economic fluctuations in the world and the tensions on the East Sea, Vietnam's economy still remained stable. As the inflation rate was curbed, the production and business activities were improved, the export turnover, the trade surplus and the international balance of payment were on the rise. The year 2014 also witnessed many challenges of the PNT as well as ICT sector in Vietnam. The competition of postal markets has been increasing with 99 enterprises licensed and notified of operation. This posed lots of challenges for Vietnam Post. However, Vietnam Post has successfully maintained its growth rate, completed all given plans, confirming its position and reputation of a leading state-owned corporation in the postal field. The hard year 2014 opened, marking the first year that Vietnam Post had to ensure both business and public interest targets without any financial support from the state. The total revenue of Vietnam Post was 6,357 billion dollars. The profit was 99.3 billion dollars, up by 19.9 percent compared to 2013. Of the figures, the mother company, Vietnam Post Corporation, gained 6,180 billion dollars of revenue, 70.1 billion dollars of profit, exceeding 67.1 percent of the given plan, up by 68.9 percent compared to 2013. The return on equity rate or ROE was 0.86%. The revenue of the postal services increased by 13% year-on-year, reaching $2,677 billion, that of postal finance services 41.3%. $1,244 billion, that of business distribution and media reached $1,590 billion. This has clearly demonstrated the right orientation and synchronous implementation of solutions to management, organization and direction of operation and business, not to mention the great efforts and strong will of tens of thousands of laborers of Vietnam Post. This was not only the achievements of the year 2014, but also of the process of applying and implementing orientations, strategic solutions and internal mechanisms in the past five years. Vietnam Post has continuously expanded its scale, enhanced the production and business capacity. In 2014, Vietnam Post also actively conducted the reform and reorganization of subsidiaries as well as consolidation of functional divisions and addition of key personnel. After a time of pilot implementation, the model of central post office in cities, towns and other urban areas has been carried out consistently across the country. The Postal Training Center, Data Post Company, Vietnam Post Logistics Company were established, completed the handover of relevant works and went into stable operation. So far, Vietnam Post has basically completed the transformation according to decision number 1746 QDTTG of the Prime Minister of Vietnam, preparing for a new development period of Vietnam Post. Vietnam Post has cooperated with functional authorities to provide many services such as delivering identity cards, passport, driving licenses, administrative documents, property related to procedures, and medical test results, etc. in a professional, quick, precise, and flexible manner. These services not only bring practical benefits for many people, but also mark the successful administrative reform of the state, promoting the effectiveness of public postal network, contributing to higher revenue of Vietnam Post. From the initial function as delivering official documents of organizations and authorities at all levels, 
Vietnam Post has become a great actor, bringing the public services to the people across the country. Moreover, Vietnam Post continue to enhancing the management of pension beneficials, pension payment, and monthly social insurance. Until now, Vietnam Post and Vietnam Social Insurance have expanded their covering area to 62 cities and provinces. Thanks to that, Vietnam Post has been decided to collect voluntary social insurance and voluntary health care insurance across the nation since October 2014. To catch up with the trend, Vietnam Post has rapidly built and implemented the project on developing e-commerce and logistics. From that point, Vietnam Post has completed and introduced various solutions to support customers and enterprises for doing in 2014, Vietnam Post became official member of Vietnam E-Commerce Association and Vietnam Logistics Enterprises Association in cooperation with Vietnam E-Commerce and Information Technology Agency under the Ministry of Industry and Trade and Vietnam E-Commerce Association, Vietnam Post initiated and acted as a member of the organizing board of the Online Shopping Day 2014. The event attracted the great attention of millions of people and enterprises. Vietnam Post has continued to realize five work programs for better quality of services. In 2014, the review of production and quality enhancement in the network got new progresses. Lots of IT solutions were applied in production. The wire mass container lifting equipment were applied and fully exploited in improving productivity and production quality. As a result, the service's quality has been improved. The standard rate of end-to-end -end inner city ordinary mail was 95.48%, inter-provincial ordinary mail 99.6%, domestic processing time for outbound mail 99.7%, domestic processing time for inbound mail 99.8%, the safety rate for all criteria 99.19%. Over 5,000 serving points, including post offices and common postal and cultural points, were equipped with new sideboards, paint color and interior design. The transportation vehicles, especially the 25 15-ton trucks, were painted with new brown design and color. All employees were equipped with new uniforms and on-the-job protection outfits. Moreover, the image of Vietnam Post was conveyed to people via a series of events. The new brand of Vietnam Post became ever more popular and created good impression. More active, professional and venturesome are how every staff member of Vietnam Post in the new period impresses everybody, from the managers of city, provincial, district post to postmen, drivers, post clerks, etc. Everyone tries their utmost for the sake of Vietnam Post. This has resulted from the renovation in policy on employees as well as the training programs of Vietnam Post. Over 17,500 postmen and employees of Commune Postal and Cultural Points, nearly 700 directors of district posts and 1,500 employees at different positions were trained and coached.
Over 8,000 commune postal and cultural points nationwide play an important role in conveying the guidelines and policies of the party and government in delivering the products and services to people, especially those living in the rural, mountainous, isolated areas. From early 2014, Vietnam Post deployed the reform of the commune postal and cultural system, addressing three key issues, renewing the image, transforming the management and operation, and changing the way to win customers. 5,154 points, of which 3,837 points were refurbished, 1,317 points were equipped with new signboards, distribution of customers' goods in 1,026 points, deployed sales channel for mobile phone, Lotus SIM card and retail financial services, etc., provided training courses to 100% of employees, as well as applied new motivation policies, etc. These innovations have leveraged the efficiency of the commune postal and cultural network, which then has successfully brought the posts, telecommunications and cultural services to the rural, border and island areas. Numerous agreements have been signed and implemented by Vietnam Post, namely the contract with Vietnam Electricity, Vietnam Railway, Mobile Phone, Vietjet Air, National Politics, Kim Dong, Education, Hanoi Publishing Houses, etc. The ongoing cooperation of Vietnam Post has been further promoted, especially the cooperation between Vietnam Post and VNPT, Lien Viet Post Bank. Apart from that, the multilateral cooperation activities with international organizations like UPU, APPU, ASEAN Post Double Plus and other international institutions like Kahala, EMS Cooperative, WSBI, Eurogiro, etc., as well as bilateral cooperation between Vietnam Post and France, Japan, Korea, Thailand, and Singapore Post had been even strengthened. The trade union, in coordination with line management, organized various emulation programs such as the quality improvement of delivery phase, innovation of operation in commune post and cultural points. The trade union, at grassroots level, closely adhered to professional duties and launched various activities for the sake of the corporation. There were 129 individuals awarded with the title Salesperson of the Year, 127 individuals Operator of the Year, 133 individuals Devoted Postman, and 130 individuals Driver of the Year. Many individuals and organizations of Vietnam Post were honorably awarded by the party and government for their accomplishments in 2014 of which one organization and one individual were awarded with the Second Order Label Medal, six organizations and one individual with the Third Order Label Medal, 11 organizations with the government emulation flag, four organizations and 34 individuals with the Certificate of Merit of the Prime Minister, and many other prizes. In addition to these outstanding milestones, the social charity activities, the issuance of stamp collection, or the contests organized by Vietnam Post, also contributed to making an impressive mark of Vietnam Post in 2014. These achievements in 2014 were of great significance, reflecting the proper direction to demerge the posts from telecommunications and created a new image of a proactive Vietnam post.
With that solid foundation, Vietnam Post can be confident to enter 2015, a transition period between the two phases of development strategy to 2020.